Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Sort the following numbers from smallest to largest. A. Log base 10 of the 10th root of 10 to the power of 11. B. Pi over 2. C. 11 over 9. D. The square root of 3 over 2. E. The square root of 3 times the cosine of 44 degrees. This problem is adapted from the 2023B Oxford Mathematics Admissions Test. That question only asked you to find the smallest number. I made things a little more interesting by saying you have to rank all five options from smallest to largest. This is not a calculation exercise. No calculators are allowed. The challenge is to sort the numbers from smallest to largest using only your mathematical ability to compare the numbers. So how can we figure it out? Let's take a look at the five options. Let's see if we can simplify any option. It looks like option A can be simplified. So let's go ahead and work on that. Simplifying this is all about logarithm rules. As a first step, we have the 10th root of something, and it would be good to rewrite this 10th root in terms of an exponent because logarithms are about exponents. For a real number x, the principal 10th root of x will be equal to x to the power of 1 over 10. So let's rewrite this 10th root as an exponent, and now we have an exponent being raised to an exponent. We can use the rule that we have x to the power of a raised to the power of b is equal to x to the power of a times b. So the exponent will become 11 over 10. Finally, we have log base 10 of 10 to the power of an exponent. And this is exactly what logarithms are all about. The logarithm will undo this operation of exponentiation. Log base b of b to the power of k is just going to cancel out to b equal to k. So this all simplifies to 11 over 10. So for the rest of this video, I will just refer to option A as 11 over 10. Now, how does it compare to the other four choices? A good starting point is to find the smallest number. We can then remove that number from the list and find the smallest number of the remaining options. So which is the smallest number of these five numbers? Let's just take a conjecture that 11 over 10 is the smallest number and let's compare it to the other choices. Now 11 over 10 is less than 3 over 2 because 11 over 10 is 1.1 and 3 over 2 is 1.5. Pi is greater than 3, so 3 over 2 is less than pi over 2. So we know that 11 over 10 is smaller than pi over 2, so pi over 2 cannot be the smallest number in the list. 11 over 10 is, of course, less than 11 over 9 because both fractions have the same numerator, but 10 is a larger denominator. 11 over 9 cannot be the smallest number in the list. How does 11 over 10 compare to the square root of 3 over 2? Rather than comparing the two numbers directly, let's compare the squares of the numbers. If we have two numbers, a and b, that are greater than 0, we know that if a squared is greater than b squared, that will imply a is greater than b. Suppose a is equal to the square root of 3 over 2, and b is equal to 11 over 10. a squared is equal to 3 over 2, whereas b squared is equal to 121 over 100. How does b squared compare to a squared? Well, a squared is 3 over 2. Let's rewrite this as a fraction over 100. 3 over 2 is equal to 150 over 100. 150 is, of course, greater than 121. Therefore, a squared will be greater than b squared, which means a is greater than b. The square root of 3 over 2 will be greater than 11 over 10. So the square root of 3 over 2 cannot be the smallest number in the list. We have one final option, the square root of 3 times the cosine of 44 degrees. How are we going to compare that to 11 over 10? We will make a wonderful estimation. So we will start out by recalling 
the cosine of zero degrees is equal to one, and the cosine of 90 degrees is equal to zero. So we recall that cosine of x degrees is decreasing from zero degrees to 90 degrees. Therefore, the cosine of 44 degrees is slightly larger than the cosine of 45 degrees. The cosine of 45 degrees is a well-known special value. It is equal to one divided by the square root of two. Multiply this by the square root of three, and that simplifies to be the square root of three over two. And we just showed that that was larger than 11 over 10. Therefore, this cannot be the smallest number in the list. So we can conclude that 11 over 10 is in fact the smallest number of these five options. We have figured out the smallest number. So let us now delete this option, and then we will find the next smallest of the remaining four numbers. So which of these four numbers is the next smallest? It would seem to be 11 over nine. So let's compare it to pi over two. Well, pi over two is approximately equal to 3.14 over two, which is equal to approximately 1.57. 11 over nine is going to be approximately 1.22. So pi over two is significantly larger. So we know that this cannot be the smallest of the remaining numbers. From the last calculation, we saw that the square root of three times the cosine of 44 degrees was larger than the square root of three over two. So we know that this option cannot be the smallest of the remaining numbers. It only remains to compare 11 over nine to the square root of three over two. Once again, let's compare the squares of the numbers. Let a equal the square root of three over two and b equal 11 over nine. a squared is equal to three over two whereas b squared is equal to 121 over 81. Let's make a common denominator so we can compare the two fractions. We will convert three over two into a fraction over 81. Three over two is equal to 121.5 over 81. 121.5 is greater than 121. Therefore, a squared is greater than b squared, which implies a is greater than b. Therefore, the square root of three over two is not smaller than 11 over nine, and we have figured out that 11 over nine is smaller than these other three options, so it is the next smallest number out of the five. From here, the remaining calculation will be easy from what we've already done before. Pi over two is approximately equal to 1.57, whereas the other two remaining options were pretty close to 11 over nine, which was 1.22. So we know that pi over two is going to be much larger than these other two options. We know that the square root of three times the cosine of 44 degrees is larger than the square root of three over two. So we have figured out that this is the next smallest number in the list. Pi over two will be the largest, and then square root of three times the cosine of 44 degrees will be in the middle. So let us put it all together. We know that 11 over 10 is the smallest number, followed by 11 over nine, followed by the square root of three over two, followed by the square root of three times the cosine of 44 degrees, followed by the largest number, which is pi over two. Going back to the original options, this was A is going to be less than C, is less than D, is less than E, is less than B. And that's the answer. What an amazing question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.